Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about becoming an iOS developer. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, I'm actually thinking about trying to become an iOS developer, uh, developer giving myself one and a half years and three hours of day for learning by myself online, but at the same time I'm asking myself if I actually have a chance to get a job considering demand and being a white guy, I heard it makes a difference in a way, and in a way it's harder. Maybe I should stop dreaming and just start thinking about something else. I'm aware that there are plenty of idiots like me coming to this industry maybe too late, so I would be more than happy to hear your opinion. Thank you in advance. Well, uh, I can't speak for whether or not it's easier or harder to get a job as a white guy, but I can immediately say yeah, to you that the the investment that like the the mental thing here yeah I would just not yeah, I would not get out of bed on this one uh, the uh, the if, if you think that you're gonna get like, I'm not saying that you can't that's the whole point right with uh, us all being different you could be massively talented or you could be very fortunate and find a position at a job uh, at a company where they have very low standards it's I mean it's all possible if we go with the average you don't have a, f a shot in hell to make it into the industry with the the attitude that you just put forward, I would be surprised if you even make it through the f the first six months, because basically what you've already given away is that you plan on in one and a half years, with three hours a day, so you're already clocking how much time you're going to spend on this thing, to become a professional software developer. That's already you making the biggest. Like you, you've already failed, in my opinion, or rather you have the wrong mindset. It's uh, it can work, of course, but let me give you some numbers that are more realistic, if you want them. So, the average time a software developer who goes to, say, a university or a, like a higher vocational school or someone who actually gets an education, they spend, on average, two years and eight hours a day. And that's just to get them to a point where they are usually, at the very least, the first candidates that are considered by companies. If you want to check my facts, that's perfectly fine. Go on, look and Stack Overflow and so forth. The average software developer across the board has a bachelor's degree. Self-taught developers have a much tougher time, usually, to get a job than someone who has an official education. It's not impossible but it is definitely tougher. And trust me when I say this, guys, people are not getting college degrees in computer science because it's a waste of time. They're not doing it because there's like they're stupid and that there's this like magical boot camp that out there that's going to give you like pre-selection or something like that. That's not how it not how it works. We're talk if we're just talking averages here, the time that you will spend as a self-taught developer is very similar, maybe even longer than one than someone who gets through a college education. I'm not saying that it can't go faster. I'm just saying that there is no magic, none. It's down to your personal elbow grease and sweat and tears and the time and effort you spend. That's what it is. And by saying already that you're going to spend less than half the time, so like the average ca junior candidate is already today, and not even as like not even the same amount of years. So well, uh, you could probably do it in one and a half years. You've already shown that it's probably not going to happen, and it's not from you being an idiot. It's it's from you either having, and this is kind of why I do the thing, these things like these videos. It's from you having the wrong expectations going in. And it's no, there's no shame. There's no shame in saying that, you know what, uh, it would be really cool to be a software developer, but it's a lot of effort and I'm just not that into it. Because that's not for everybody. I mean, shit, I would never invest the sort of time that I have had to invest into this career of mine or like this profession if I didn't care about it. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of hours, it's a lot of, like I, I mean, I'm the sort of person who I can't even get out of bed 
and do something unless I feel motivated to do it. So going in and doing something that I feel kind of half-hearted about, that's really not for me. And there's no shame in that. Go, there's so much other stuff that you could be doing that does not require the same sort of like investment. I'm not saying that you shouldn't try it. I mean, shit, go in, do your three hours a day and see where you are. I mean, you have nothing to lose except for, like, as I said, as long as you're aware of that you're putting in less than most people, then it's fine. Just, you know, keep those expectations in uh, in uh, in line and maybe you'll find out that, hey, you started out with the idea of going in with three hours a day and then you actually realize that this thing is so awesome that now you're putting in 14 hours a day. I don't know. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you're going into iOS development, it doesn't really matter if it's iOS development, whatever, uh, the odds of you getting into the industry with less than statistically one to five years, and that is roughly eight hours a day, is it's a lot lower than the average. Uh, can happen, not saying that it can't, saying that the average is that a software developer has a bachelor's degree with one to five years of uh, hands-on experience, ideally work experience, and uh, most junior candidates that are pre-selected or favored by companies have an official education so those are the numbers so trying to get like setting your hopes on that you're going to be a professional software developer with three hours a day investment for one and a half year that's in my opinion low-balling it quite quite a lot and being very optimistic not saying it can't happen but it sounds very optimistic have a great day